have to wear it. No, the dress code is the red t-shirt. Um, if Carlos is wearing it, I hope it's um, due to um, explanatory purposes. Okay, and let's give a great applause, a great welcome to our judges for today. Um, Mr. William McCauley, um, hello, how are you? Welcome. Hello, thank you, Ms. Um, Garcia um, Martinez. Um, I want to welcome you guys all to this. This is super exciting. I know that you guys have been putting in so much work, and so I'm really excited to see what you guys have. Um, I'm super excited. A little background is I go to school at Marion University. I'm a business analytics major with a minor in Spanish. So don't use your Spanish on me. It's a minor, so it's not a, uh, I'm not very good, but un poco. Um, and so I have done a little bit of research um, working with professors that are really big into the space. They publish some papers on bioinformatics and creating tools using data science. So using Python to create tools to analyze um, molecules and to try to find similarities in them and to create tools that categorize um, molecules. And so that's kind of my background. So I'm super excited to see what you guys have. Um, and I want to get started. So each team has five minutes. We have an hour to do this. So we have 10 teams. So what we're going to have is like in baseball. So in baseball, you have the pitcher and the batter. And the batter is the one hitting the ball. And you're always going to have a person on deck. So there's always going to be a team ready to go. So we're going to start with team number one. They're going to share their screen and present. And team number two is going to have everything ready. So you're going to have whoever's presenting is going to have everything ready. And so as soon as we're done with that, um, you guys will be up next. So I hope you guys are ready for this. I'm super excited. Um, let's hit it. Awesome. Thank you for, for a great introduction of this morning, this um, afternoon. Um, and also, welcome to our robotics teacher. Hello. Maestro Michel, ¿cómo estás? Bienvenido. ¿Listo para evaluar el aspecto tecnológico de estos proyectos? Awesome. Excellent. All right. So we are ready to start just like um, Macaulay, Mr. Macaulay said. Team number one ready to present. Let's head it. Okay, team number one presenting from 9th A. Ready to start your with your presentation. You can start now. The floor is yours. Um, wait. Hi, good morning. We are the team number six, and today we're presenting our topic, reforestation. Uh, so first of all, deforestation is permanent removal of trees to make a spot for some time besides forest and natural environment. Uh, on the other hand, reforestation is a very important procedure in order to save our planet. This is needed because uh, forests are being destroyed or damaged due to various reasons on a daily basis. The materials we use in order to make our project are a computer, internet network, a Gmail session, and Google Sites. First, we open Google Sites and we add the basic design to create the site. We create the main concept and start doing research to develop them. We add graphic elements so it is more visual. Also, we add links to real information and petition and some fake links just for the format. At the end, it is published and we can share it. Yeah. 
for for methods uh, or for the screenshot is when we create a design and we add the main concepts. In the second one is when we were doing research about the data. And at the bottom, we were developing ideas and adding visual elements. In the left side of our presentation, the screenshots were when we were adding the links. And in the right side, it is the final format of our website. And that's Our proposal is that all houses must contain a tree in the event that fulfilling the task is difficult, either because there is not enough space, a small donation of money can be applied, a tree can be planted, and in case it is being built in a natural area, the trees and plants of the place must be transferred to another where they can continue with their cycle and growth. A single proposal that we contribute will be continue informing people and doing activism online through our campaign and website as well as in others. Um, so this is our website. It has information about what is deforestation, some rates about it, a step of how to plant your own tree, access to documentary films, benefits, about our proposal in home and community in general. Um, we uh, had uh, links to information from the government and different tests. Also, we have links for petition sites in addition to some more other um, sites. We can conclude that the best way to avoid negative consequences of deforestation is that in community we plant trees in our space so the natural cycle and their benefits don't get interrupted. Because we interrupted their cycle and life first, now we have to include them in our lives and attend to the consequences of our actions. As part of our campaign, an annual money collection will be carried out where the money will be distributed in 30% of the benefits to, to people who can have a tree at home, so this tree will be transferred elsewhere. 40% of the shelter and natural spaces for their maintenance and 30% will be divided into activism to save places at risk of deforestation. Um, for us, it is everything for today. Thank you so much for your attention and have a nice day. Wow, awesome. That was really good. That was really good. Thank you. Um, thank you. I really like your idea. And I was wondering, instead of planting a tree, because sometimes those are a little hard to move around, have you guys thought about like planting seeds or like handing out seeds for people to plant? Yeah, actually, in the link of our information we have in our website, it gives you to an official um, uh, site where you can look for steps of how to plant many variations of plants, not on the trees. Wow, that's really cool. And one thing I loved about your website is the variety of information. You guys had documentaries, information, pictures, videos. Um, great job. That was very good. Thank great you job. so much. <laughs> All right, the next team. And we're starting off with the bang. That was really good. So um, thank you, Sophia, Milan, uh, Carolina, and Miandra. And I apologize if I pronounced the names wrong, but you guys were awesome. Um, greetings, everyone. Today, my team, Renato Ochoa, Laura Herrera, Fatima Reyes, and me, Camila Mesa, are going to present our project and what we did in the virtual science fair. The topic we choose is bioinformatics in our project, Tsunami App. Introduction. To understand our project, first, we need to define some concepts. Tsunamis are a series of, of, of ocean waves with a very long wavelength caused by large scale disturbances of the ocean, such as earthquakes, landslides, meteorites, explosions, volcanic eruptions, among others. 
Physics behind a tsunami. Amplitude is the distance between the crest or dog to the half line and the wave line is the distance between two successive crests or dogs of a wave. Even though tsunamis doesn't occur very frequently, they are one of the most dangerous natural phenomena in the whole world. Tsunamis cause quite damage and in most of them there are a lot of deaths. So we developed this website to alert people when they are in risk of a tsunami. All this because we cherish a lot about the lives of the people, family and friends. So basically this app has the objective to take care of the people we love. But how far a tsunami wave can go? As we can see here, the waves of a tsunami can reach up to 30 meters above the sea level. And they can go at the speed of 700 kilometers per hour, damaging thousands of people and houses. Materials and methods. The materials we use to do our website are internet and visual studio code. For our methods, we use a flow chart to demonstrate how we made our website. First, we investigate all that information related to tsunamis, statistics, risk, how many people they affect, among others. We add the information and also carry out a questionnaire so that you can calculate if the person is at risk of facing a tsunami. Finally, we made our free website so that people can be safe and above all to be able to warn people and save their lives. Results. These are screenshots of our final website. Here, you will find basic information about tsunamis, like what they are, security process, and more. Here, we have six security recommendations for maintaining yourself safe in case of a tsunami. Protect yourself. Get to high ground as far as possible from the tsunami. Be alert to things of the tsunami, such as rise of ocean waves. Listen to emergency information and alerts. Evacuate. Always follow the instructions of the emergency managers. Our app will work by making a four question questionnaire informing people about the risk of facing a tsunami based on systems that detect tsunamis around your location. How our quiz work? First, you need to click on the bottom that says start quiz and then to, calcul to calculate your probabilities of facing a tsunami, you sum the points of each question and see your results. Then it will show you a three different results, low possibility of facing a tsunami, moderate possibility, and high possibility. These are the four questions you will find in our questionnaire. Number one, do you live near the sea? Number two, in the area where you live have tsunamis been witnessed? Number three, how frequent is that there are tsunamis in your country? Number four, have you seen any signal that has something in common with facing a tsunami? For example, the increase of water levels, small earthquakes, big waves of the ocean, among others. This is important because we are designing an app that will inform people and could save lives. Conclusion. In average, two tsunamis occur during a year. This causes a lot of damage during this time in a lot of countries. In one tsunami, around 90,000 people in the world are affected. Our approach with this app is to save lives and inform about tsunamis and their dangers. Thank you for your attention. Wow, awesome. And I love the references at the end. Um, that's super important. And anything you do, if you didn't make it up yourself, make sure to put the references um, because then your work is not valid. Um, so that was amazing. Um, thank you, Camelia, Renata, Laura, and Fatima. Um, I really like how you guys define the terms in the beginning of the PowerPoint. That's super important because sometimes we're not always aware of what you're talking about. So by specifying exactly what it is in the beginning, great job on that. Um, 
and then I liked how you guys said why it was important and how it affects people. Um, and so very good on that. Um, the only thing I would say is also too, I love the free website and I love how you guys used uh, visual studios. Um, very good on that. Um, you guys did really well on your methods. Um, and yeah, I really liked your presentation. So thank you guys. Good thank job. you. Thank you. Next team. You can uh, tell me and see it really because I'm having a little problems. Okay, give me one second. Um. So, which group is going to be because presenting? I am is the of uh, deforestation. And is oh, I hear are isn't Regina Ivan presenting about Regina? Do we have another team that's ready? The team afterwards. Is there another team that's ready that can go right now? You guys are going to get some extra points if you are. Okay, thank you so much. Aprovechen, chicos. Sorry, I didn't understand. What did you say? Um, is there another team that could present right now while the current team is getting ready? All right, okay, give me one moment. We can... can Okay, thank you. Um, Miguel, did you upload the presentation to Classroom? If so, I can help you present. Yes, I do it. Okay, I can present the screen for you. Give me one moment. Okay. So you just have to explain your your work. Um, from 17. You can start now. Uh, okay. Uh, we are the the team number five. We are going to, and we are going to talk about the. The deforestation. Our team are of Regina Nazaret, Ivan Olmedo, Germán Guzmán, and me. Can you go to the next slide, please? Okay, so. The deforestation can remove vegetation that causes climate change. And if you don't have enough ventilation in your house, it can poison you. Uh, first, the seed needs water 
and the water makes the seed grow. And if you care a lot of the seed, they, the seed will grow in and transform into a tree. This part is of Regina, but I see that it's not here. I'm going to say, say that. In the, the first step, uh, we start doing the, the design and the introduction of the, of the websites in the step two. We start to put the, the information and the step three. We start to put images and put friends in API. Okay, so here are the results of the page that we do. These are um, our. Okay. And you, if you go to the page, you can see what trees can you plant around, the, uh, around our country. Okay, uh, fifty point three billion of trees are cut down per year in Mexico. That's why our project reduced the air pollution by promoting the reforestation in our country. And these are our references and APM for and thanks for your attention. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Team Five. Um, yeah, deforestation in Mexico and also I think around the world in general is a pretty big problem. And so, thank you guys for bringing that to light. Um, we'll go to the next team. Who's up next? According to the um, list of teams presenting, we have um, right now team number three presented. We're going to continue. Oh, okay, yeah, eighth C. Um, according to my itinerary, there are some mistakes. Team number four was presenting in a different meeting. So right now we are skipping team number four and we are jumping to start the presentation from team number five from seventh A presenting your project. Ready? You can start now. The floor is yours. Sure, it's uh, the team, it's my team. It's, um, yes, yes. No teacher, Gabriela is not in my team. Okay, okay. Seven, eight, team number one. Yeah, Alex, it's your team. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, my team present, please.
All right, you guys can start. Emilio, why you can talk? If you have internet problems, I can present the screen for you. Just let me get your presentation and I can share the screen so you can present. Teacher, can you please present because Emilio is, I think, having troubles. Yes, I am presenting the screen. One moment. Teacher, I think someone um, sacar Emilio, and if someone sacar Emilio, they he can't enter again. Oh, he got okay. Let me send the invitation again. Okay, thank you for your patience, everyone. Right now we are going through some technical issues. Um, just let me send the invitation to your classmate and we're going to start. Okay, I just sent the invitation to your classmate and please ask him to join. Um, and you guys, disclaimer, um, I don't have access to your presentation. Is there a way you could share it with me so I can share the screen? Well, the chair, I'm going to try to send it the presentation. Did you get to send it to me, Alex? No, teacher. It's because I, Emilio was uh, telling me something, so I was uh, sending a, a message, uh, but I am doing that. Okay, all right. Is there another group that's ready that could go while we wait for them? Okay, yeah. While we are waiting for the team number, um, team number five presenting, let's continue with team number six from 9th B, presenting simulation of the use of non-Newtonian fluids in architecture for earthquakes. So, ready guys. Uh, I'm going to share a screen. Uh, please tell me when you can see it, please. Sure. Do you can see yeah. it? Yeah, now we can. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, we are team number six from Bioinformatics and we're going to present a simulation of the use of non-Newtonian fluids in architecture for earthquakes. We are Catalina Lasiopo, the project manager, Carlos Merino, the research and development manager, Beno de Leija, technology researcher, and Luis Contreras and Katia Villarreal, the developers. First, we're going to talk about what are non-Newtonian fluids. A non-Newtonian fluid is a fluid with a high grade of viscosity that can also become rigid when pressure is applied to it. 
This means that it has a high rate of density and that it is a link to neutron's law of scarcity. We chose this subject because we think it could be it could be applied to countries that are still in development to ensure the safety of the people during extreme natural disasters. Be, be, be. Because of its nature, the non external fluids can resist and absorb the pressure from the subsoil. However, the fluid can lose stability and get back to a weakened state. It depends from a constant amount of applied force or, in some cases, electromagnetic force to make its molecules stick together. And because of this, we decide to do an animation representing a house with a foundation made of non neutron and fluid. This foundation will absorb the impact of an earthquake, so the house stays stable after the earthquake. Now our materials. For the animation, we only use the Goddard Game Engine program. And now the methodology. First, to make the background, we made four static 2D, each one with its own collision shape 2D, and a texture rect with a landscape image. To make the non newtonian fluid, we made a rigid body 2D with a picture and a collision shape 2D. To make the foundation, we made a static body 2D added a picture and a collision shape to the. To make the floor, we made a kinematic body to the and added a script and a picture. And finally, for the house, we made a kinematic body to the with a picture and a collision shape to the. And this is our animation in screenshots. Now I'm going to share my screen so you can see how the final animation turned out. Can you see it now? Oh, okay. No, we can see it. Yes or no? No. Okay, can we one minute, please? If you have a problem, I can share the animation. Yes, it is allowing me to share my screen. Can you please share it, please? Yeah, okay. I got it. Okay. Ready. There it is. Yes, we can see it. Now we can see how the animation looks in Gadot. What we want to show is a house remaining stable after the impact of an earthquake, thanks to the non neutronal liquid. And this is how the finished animation looks like. And now our discussion and conclusion. Currently, some earthquake proof foundations are made out of steel, with an isolated footing, which is a concrete base with a column on top, or a concrete stencil for lighter constructions, among others. We believe that a non newtonian fluid can fulfill the purpose of these materials, specifically the Kelvin Boyd model. The Kelvin Boyd model is a viscoelastic material which presents an immediate deformation after being applied pressure, and the time dependent deformation is a response to a constant pressure being applied to it. When it is under constant tension, something concrete, it departs progressively slowly, and when all tensions are removed, it goes back to its original state. Nowadays, there are bulletproof vests that use the Newtonian fluid, and they can resist the impact of a bullet going up to 450 meters per second. Apparently, these work better than Kevlar, which is the most commonly used material for these type of vests. As well, a company named Polyanser makes several types of products using non Newtonian fluids, mainly protection gear. And previously, viscous fluid dampers have been used for earthquake damage mitigation in bridges and buildings. This is why we think our project will work. And although this would need more research and trials before being used in real life, this could potentially lessen the damages caused by earthquakes and save multiple lives. Finally, we have our references and our earth legend. Thank you very much for your attention. Awesome, thank you. And could you go back? I was not able to see the animation, but I know you guys worked hard on it. Could you guys maybe share that again to show the animation? Uh, let me see if I can share my screen now. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
Yes, and I want to say you guys are a very good team. Um, I really liked how you guys laid out your roles in the beginning. That's super important with teams um, that everybody has a specific job. Um, Miss Arizona did that specifically um, so that everybody on the team knows what your role is. Um, that's super important on every team. A team needs a leader and then everybody needs to know their role. And so you guys did a very good job on that. Thank you. Oh, okay. Can you see the animation now? It says I'm sharing my screen, but I don't yes. know if you can see. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. This is how it works. You can move the, the soil under it, which represents a tectonic plate, and it, the foundation absorbs the impact, so the house remains stable. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. That's very cool. That's very cool. Yeah, I like I like this one. I like that. Um, yeah, I really liked also that you guys laid out your methods and they were very descriptive. That's very good. Um, and then at the very end, I liked how you guys said that more research needs to be done because not all the time when there's a scientific study, a lot of times more research needs to be done. So to state that is very good. Um, so great job. Great job. Thank you very much. Great job, you guys. Congratulations, team number six. Now we're going to come back to team number five presenting their project. Um, I am going to share the screen for you so you can start your, with your presentation. Okay, but Emilio, can you talk now? Hola. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm going to start. Hello, teachers and managers. Today we come to show you our topic, and our, our team is made up of Alejandro Rojas, Carlos Segura, Santiago Garza, and myself, Emily Lizondo. Deforestation refers to the decrease in forest areas across the world that are lost for other uses, such as agricultural cropplands, urbanization, or mining activities and deforestation has increased by human activities since 1960. Next presentation, please. Hypothesis. The hypothesis is that we are going to reduce deforestation by making a social media named Bionautica, that when you enter the page takes you directly to a, to a deforest area, and that way, if the person is willing, they can plant trees in that area. For the web page and our project, we were going to use Google, the presentation in Google Live, Visual Studio Code, and PowerPoint. Uh, these are the steps we had to create our website in, until it was finished. And the negative effects from deforestation are the loss of trees and other vegetation can use climate change, flooding, increased greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and host of problems for indigenous people. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys, great presentation. Um, the next team. Oh, I don't want to interrupt you, excuse me, excuse me. Um, I do have, before we continue, I do have a question for the team. Um, here, one more. Okay, so yeah, excuse me. I do have a couple of questions. Can you explain us your um, your website? What are we looking at right now? 
Um, and how yes, do you teacher. how do you do it? Yes, uh, and this is a final product of the website. As you can see in the bottom, you can put your username, password, and accept terms and conditions. And in if you do that, you can then like enter to the website and then it's going to send you to a part where are deforestated zones so you can go and you can like plant a tree or so or a plant um do you have a more developed idea on how the website is going to look like at the end no teacher we uh, don't have a uh, time to do that Understood. Okay, um, we're going to continue now with team number seven. Team number seven from 8B, presenting nuclear energy. All right, you guys, ready to present? Okay. Um, they are not attending to the meeting right now. I am waiting for a confirmation on the on my email about the situation. So we're going to um, continue with team number eight uh, from seventh A. Ready, you guys. Okay, you can start your presentation now. The floor is yours. Sophie, Gabriela, team, ready? Good afternoon. Today we are going to present our team. The team members are Sofia Jax, Renata Gomez, Gaby Perez, and me, Camila Cisneros. In this presentation, we are going to talk about how vegetables look and how they look under the microscope. To make our presentation, first we open the Google Sites. Then we open a blank page and start digging. Then we start looking for the information. After that, we put in the presentation and finally we give the last details. The result is the finished Google Sites with all the images and information about that topic. Discussion and conclusion. What we did in Google Sites will help on our website to conflict the vegetables from how we all see it to how it looks like under a microscope. We use Google Sites to make a website to show the people how different vegetables look under a microscope. All right, awesome. Um, thank you guys for presenting. Um, Ms. Arisama, do you, you want to ask any questions about that one? 
Um, yes, I do. Um, your idea is to um, to present a website of what? 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 Which problem are you solving? What is the main objective of your of creating your website? Okay. All right. So your evaluation is being processed right now. Okay. Um, so we'll move on to the next group. Uh, and thank you for all the previous groups that worked really hard on yours. Um, thank you guys so much. It's really showing. Okay, now we're going to continue with the presentation of team number nine from 9B presenting Ocean Oil Cleaner. You can start now. The floor is yours. Let me present my screen, please. Can you see my screen? Hey, good afternoon. My name is Carolina. And my teammates are Jaime, Virgilio, Daniela, and Joshua. Our project is the Ocean Oil Cleaner, or OOC. What's biodiversity? Biodiversity are all the living things that live in a specific area. In the ocean, the biodiversity will be the marine life. Um, what is marine pollution? Marine pollution is a combination of chemical and trash, which most of it comes from land. Chemical pollution occurs when human activity leads to runoff of chemicals into the waterways. How does the oil affect the ocean? Oil please affect the ecosystem and biodiversity in the ocean. Some of animals affects are the seabirds, fishes in general, salt fishes, and etc. All of these animals do the pretty through the water and isolate from the cold water. This can make some animals die of hypothermia, and it also affects the young turtles that sleep once they get mystic for food. Some of these oils can get dolphins and whales blood. Introduction. With this project, we will clean the ocean because the ocean has a lot of pet petroleum and oil. And as a consequence, a lot of marine, marine animals are dying. Also, a big part of the water gets polluted because with one liter of oil, you can pollute 1,000 liters of water. With this project, we want to dissolve the oil from the water. The materials we used were Blender program on websites like National Geographic and NOAA. Methods. Step one, delete the default cube. Step two, add a plain shape. Step three, in, a sh in the shape, Add an ocean modifier. Step four, add another plane shape and add another shape that you want to use. Step five, add a subdivision surface modifier. Step six, add a shrink wrap modifier. Step seven, shade the ocean. Step eight, add a new plane shape and an object that you want to use. Step nine, add a subdivision surface and a shrink wrap modifier. Step 10, color the objects that you use. Step 11, configure the camera and the movements of the camera and then record the animation. 
In step 12, insert another object of a bottle and rotate it and rotate the object up to the position that you want it to be. In step 13, add, add keyframes so it can move. In step 14, add a new object and put it where you want it to be and add other keyframes so it can move. Results. We will use biosurfactants. What are biosurfactants? The biosurfactants are bacteria that are amphipathic. What this will do is break the surface tension of the oil and then dissolve it. Some examples of these bacteria are Pseudomonas aeruginosa and Radocopsus echi. That microorganisms break the superficial, superficial tension and then dissolves the oil. Because the cultivate, the cultivate this microorganism, it's important to count the nutritional requirement of the microorganism. Now we're going to present our animation. Joshua. The discussion and the conclusion. The, all the years we throw a lot of oil to the ocean. With this project, we will try to dissolve all the oil with the water. We also want to experiment with the views of fractions. And to do with in the part of the animation, we had some problems like the texture printing and also trying to create a new object and um, form adding pieces mm, and the uh, can present the, the presentation. Could you please? Let's go, guys. We are in the final minutes. Ah, just to share, uh, I can present the presentation. Could you share it, please? Because I'm having internet problems. Discussion and conclusion. All the years mm. we throw. Thank you. We throw yeah. a lot of oil um, to the ocean. Our discussion is that all the years we throw a lot of oil to the ocean, and with this project we will try to dissolve the, all this oil with the water. We also want to ex experiment with the biosurfactant. Uh, to do this animation, we had some problems like the texture painting of all the of the 3D objects. Also, we are trying to create a new object or form and adding keyframes and configuring all the boats so it can move to any direction. And thanks for your attention. All right, awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, I really liked um how you guys define the topic and the problem that was very good 
Um, very ambitious, and I know the animation took a lot of time, so that was very good. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. We have two more teams, so let's get this going. All right, so um, let's go with team number nine, no, team number 10 from 7th B, presenting my note. Teacher, let me present. I'm going. Uh, do you see it? No, yet. No, we can. Hello, good afternoon. Um, Hello? Yes, I can. Oh, okay. Is, I, I am a little luck. Hello, good afternoon. Our project is My Notebook. The teammates of my, of my team are Mauricio Aguirre, Research and Development Man Manager, Benjamin Enciso, Developer, Mario Eduardo, Developer, Andres Martinez, Project Manager, and me, Mauricio Cruz Lopez, Technology Researcher. What is deforestation? Deforestation refers to the climb in forest areas around the world that are lost to other uses, such as agricultural farmland, urbanization, or mining activities. Deforestation has negatively affected natural ecosystems, biodiversity, and the climate. What are some causes of deforestation? Paper manufacturing, infrastructure expansion, or illegal unsustainable Logging. The materials that we use for this way are the next. Google Sites, internet page like Capital Solutions, Life Science, Rainforest, Humor, and WWF. And we also use images. Methods. First, we put the logo and the name of the page, then a phrase of deforestation and images. Then, here, we put information about deforestation and the causes of deforestation. Then we put a section and we put the name of the class. Then we put a bottom, that bottom is going to send you to a link that you can write your notes. Uh, I'm going to present to see the results of the page. And I'm going to send you a link of the page that is going to be in the chat. That you can see here is the page. Um, we have all the information. Uh, the thing, the idea that we have about this page, the solution is to, here we have some sections about all the classes and for example, biology, math class, and other class. You, you go and click here and you are going to have here your class. Then you have here a button that you can click and you are going to write your notes, like for example. And that, that's the idea and the notes are going to save in here. In the future, we want that the, the student lo login with the institutional account 
and they can write the, their own notes in the same page. And when they finish, the the same page send an email to the person and they can download the notes or pass it to Google Docs or, or Word. Conclusions. According to the World Wildlife Fund, forests cover more than 30% of the planet. The world has lost 1.3 million square kilometers in 26 years. According to a 2015 study in the Journal of Nature, 46% of the trees have been cut down. The forestation is responsible for almost a fifth of annual emissions and for the 17 billion cubic feet of trees deforested each year. More than 60% is used to make paper, and if we publish this idea, we could level lower 40% on the next few years. Here, we can find the resources that the teammates research for information. As well as Benjamin said, Capital Solutions, Life Science, Rainforest, WWE, and you more. Thank you for attention and have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you guys. Um, I really like that you guys have a product name, My Notebook. Um, I also like that you guys use multiple applications. So you guys stack them on top of each other. Um, that was very good. Um, that was very good. Thank you guys. I can tell you guys put a lot of work into that one. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Awesome. And last but not least, let's conclude with our bioinformatics presentations. Um, presenting um, team number seven from 8B with nuclear energy. All right, you guys? Um, this is your time. You can start presenting your screen. The floor is yours. Hi, I am Marcelo, and my team is Diego Alberto Franco Bernal, Research and Development Manager. Silvano de Jesús Pérez Reyes, Technology Researcher, Diego Villalón, Developer, and Diego Asael, Developer. Hello, nuclear energy is obtained by one of the two re nuclear reactions called fission, and it basically makes the atom to break up into two parts, and when it happens, it liberates a nuclear and then makes a chain reaction. And here what happens is that the energy liberated by hot in the wave hot and they were in that hot make water evaporate and make turns a turbine connected to a generator and that keeps electricity and but and when that process happens the steam goes to a condenser to condense it. Nuclear fission. What is nuclear fission? Nuclear fission is the reaction in which a heavy nucleus, when bombarded with neutrons, becomes unstable and decomposes. These neutrons, in turn, can cause more fissions by interacting with the new fissile nuclei that will emit new neutrons and so on. This multiplied effect is known as a chain reaction. As you can look at the pictures, there is the nuclear fission and the chain reaction. The materials. To make a website, we need a computer, a text editor like Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code, a browser, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, etc. Or you can use the Google Tool, Google Sites. We don't use the Visual Studio Code because we don't have the note time to use it, but we are originally we're supposed to use it.
the methods. Create a document on Google Sites, put a title to the document, select the header of the website, create and paste images like if it is a word Google, Docs, etc. Give a format to the document. Results. Here we have the results of the web page, how it, it looks, and here we have Kidder and Brian McLaren Energy and Fission, the one that we have explained, and the pros and the cons of McLaren Energy and Navia if we don't if we didn't explain it so well. Discussion and conclusion. By creating this website, we will create consensus with people about nuclear energy. In Mexico, 65% of the population does not know anything about it. USA, 20% of total energy in the country. And France, 71% of total energy in the country. Have used nuclear energy for the last four years. This demonstrates that using is possible, and the digitalization helps to maintain the reactor security. Here are the references that we use to, to the information of our presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Um, and could you go back, your solution, I like how you guys laid out what um the nuclear reaction i like how you guys broke that down um it was very easy to understand you guys had a very good methods flow chart um i lost what your solution was to that oh uh, uh you need to uh, you want us to repeat the the web page or can you repeat it please You repeat the question, please. Could you maybe share your screen again? Oh, do you have a link to the website, maybe? Or could you show us the website? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got it. Let me see. Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't, that wasn't. Uh, is this. Okay, you guys, so what is your main objective? That is, uh, I believe that's the question um, the judge is asking. To educate them, the people then, so they know that nuclear energy isn't bad and they can be a very well farm to generate energy and be able to it to the people. Okay. Okay. So, um, all right. Um, any other question, um, Judge? That you can... Um, no, that's it. Um, I think that's all the teams, correct? Yeah. So I just want to thank you guys. There were some really good ideas there. Um, I really liked a couple of the. There's a couple of the teams that were very, very good, and so, um, so yeah, it's a hard decision actually. <laughs> It's a pretty hard decision. Um, there is some very, there's a couple teams that were very, very good. So um, thank you guys. Thank you for having me too. It's an honor to um, to see your guys' work and um, I feel very privileged. So thank you guys. Thank you all, all the students. Thank you.
Thank you for, for attending. All right, you guys, excuse me for, for the for the background. But so far, this is it for our presentations. Congratulations to all of you. Um, I, I can give you a great clap clap. Um, amazing, amazing job from all of you. Congrats. Um, and right now, this is it for the bioinformatics presentation. And um, this is it for the science fair um, so far for this part of the topic. Right now, we are waiting for the sustainable architecture topic to finish, like the presentations to finish. And as soon as they are done, we, the judges, are going to discuss and we're going to select the winners. Um, so see you in the main meeting, everyone. Congratulations. You can start leaving the meet. Goodbye.